Here we have the new POS system that Shopify just announced. Uh, we have Jamie here to introduce us, uh, let us know what there is. Uh, can you can you please tell us a little bit about this? this so guy? yeah, so my name is Jamie Armstrong. I'm the commercial lead for retail. So I run all of our sales teams for point of sale and retail here in Toronto. Um, this is the all new POS for Shopify. Uh, the reason that we decided to sort of start a new point of sale system from from the ground up was we wanted to focus on brick and mortar. When we originally launched POS uh, about four years ago, that system was really built for customers who wanted to take their sales offline and do like a pop-up or a fair or a market. It wasn't built for brick and mortar multi-location retailers. So, uh, but yet we, stuck, we kept bolting on features to make it more, uh, I guess, efficient for, for large retailers. And then we decided, you know what, if we're gonna be serious about this and we really wanna win the brick and mortar uh, software opportunity that's out there that uh, we need to start from scratch and think about the right way to do this so this is like 12 months of really hard work from our retail uh, development and product teams and uh, it was built with uh, a multi-location brick-and-mortar omni-channel merchant in mind yeah, that is something that our client actually has already okay taken in use. amazing a couple of clients having uh, multiple stores i think the uh, biggest one is uh, what is it was, uh, about 20 okay stores. awesome where is that in, in finland Okay, amazing. Um, so, this is, by the way, just uh, it's Envision app. So it's not the it's not an actual uh, version of Shopify uh, or of our new POS. So there's only certain things that I can do, but I'll show you some of, uh, of what we're going to be. What are the new features that we're bringing that aren't in what we call POS now? Um, so the big piece here is that you'll notice, like Arpon mentioned, there's no more products here. We realized as soon as you get more than 12 products, that sort of grid becomes useless. Yeah, you did. You're like scrolling through page after page. Uh, so we, what we wanted to do here was like, what can we bring to the point of sale screen that's like going to make the, the cashier or the associate more efficient and be able to serve the, the buyer better? And that's where we came up with the smart grid. And all of these are dynamic, meaning that they can react to what's in the cart. Who's the customer? Uh, are they a VIP? What's the product? What type of product is it? Uh, so that you can have these buttons dy dynamically react to the cart. For instance, uh, provide a discount, uh, provide a related product. So you're buying the scarf, why not offer them the hat, the tube to go with it? Um, like an upsell, exactly, like you do in Finland or Canada. Um, you know, what are my top, then your hot buttons. I want to go to my top products. What is my sale products that I have going on right now? So maybe it's my sale collection, my fall collection. And then I think the most important uh, impressive thing and most exciting and uh, not just for the partner community but for Shopify and our customers is that you can have apps uh, directly loaded here so you can load up uh, clocked in so when your staff comes in in the morning and they clock in in the morning and then they clock in out at night when they're done their shift you can now do payroll look at commissions um, all of those things you got a customer in front of you, they want a nine and a half, you don't have a nine and a half available here. You can quickly do a, uh, um, what you call send order. So send me a nine and a half from another location. You can quickly look up what's available. Um, you've also got you know, your local search or your global search. What do I have in inventory at this store? Not available here, okay, now let me look everywhere. Uh, and that's really where you're gonna get like this waffle thing. So I can, if I'm looking up the waffle um, road, you can see uh, how, what do I have in stock uh, at, uh, in different sizes. What orders do I have that have, where I've sold to that some and what are customers that have bought it? So you can add it to the cart. Uh, whoops, I gotta select it. Uh, down here, you're gonna have just more information. Again, this is really around making the associate more efficient. Who's logged in right now? Uh, on this button here, when you're going to be able to click on it, it will tell you, is your card reader connected? Is the internet working? Is the Wi-Fi on? Uh, is my uh, receipt printer connected? What we're seeing is like, an associate is not an IT person. They don't know whether the internet's down or the Wi-Fi or the Bluetooth's not connected. They're not going to troubleshoot that. So we're trying to give them more information to make quick decisions and, uh, and diagnose and triage uh, a problem on the fly without having to call support. That's one thing that we're doing there. Um, I think if I click on this app section here, you can also pull up any app that, that you want to that you already have installed on the store. Um, we're, is it really, we're thinking heavily about let's make POS as extensible and customizable as our online store. 
That's why we're winning online. That's why we have 800,000 plus customers. Um, if we want to really shake up the POS world, let's bring that superpower to, to POS. How about the movie channel? You have the locations and uh, it's a location that's its own warehouse. Uh, physical stores and online. Yeah. Um, with Shopify, you can transfer orders. Can you already uh, make a purchase that you are directly purchasing uh, in the store? store? Yeah, so um, one of the really amazing things in, in POS now. Uh, so any of the features that are here are going to be coming to POS Next, but I'll just show you. You have um, the ability to buy in store, ship to home. Let's say that the, the stock's not available in this location. You can quickly look up the stock at any other location of where it might be available and then put the order through and then have your warehouse fulfilled and shipped it to the customer. But take payment now, which is the most important thing, right? Complete the transaction. Um, another thing that we just introduced is um, carrier calculated shipping rates in point of sale. So if you have you know, uh, an integration with FedEx or USPS and... In Finland, we have a pickup point for it. There you go. We are using and we have the other own app to calculate. Okay, rates. amazing. So those shipping settings would be loaded into the point of sale as well. Um, I don't think I have the beta flag attached here. Uh, let me just see. Yeah, so it's in beta right now, but this will uh, dynamically calculate based on the customer's shipping address. It uh, dynamically calculates also, for example, the loyalty points yep. here without selecting any. Exactly. So you can see this customer's got 255 points. Uh, you can apply the 5% off discount. There you go. So it's all built inside the uh, native app without, without going to yeah. the app, uh, app's own UI. Yeah, and this is there's six different loyalty app partners that we're integrated with right now. Don't ask me to name them all. Um, Swell, Marcelo, Smile.io, and um, I think Loyalty Line is one of them. And it's multi-channel loyalty. So whether the customers bought something online or in store, uh, you can apply it here in store or, or online. Um, all orders for a customer are under their uh, account. So the other thing too is if a customer walked in and you wanted to see, uh, let me look up Brian here. This is going to show all of Brian's orders for online, Facebook, Instagram. Amazon and POS, and you can do a refund of any of those here. Or exchange. Or exchange, yeah. Well, hopefully, an exchange, not a return. And the order editing is coming to Shopify, does yes. that also include Shopify POS? Yes, yeah, so right now, um, that's a great question. So you can do a return or an exchange, yes. but if you needed to do an exchange on an exchange, um, order editing will allow you to do that. So we're pretty excited about that. Right now, you'd have to go into the back end of Shopify uh, to do an exchange on an exchange. Which or, is still in the same uh, top line, basically. Yeah, it's the <laughs> same frustration. So we're really excited to be able to bring that to point of sale. Um, yeah, so that's... that's you what, have something new for uh, user management uh, or the staff management. Yes. Let me show you how that's going to work over here. So we have staff management right now in uh, Shopify now, but in the, in the all-new version, it will be a little bit more granular, or not a little bit more, significantly more granular. Uh, you will be able to create a new staff, Diego. Um, now I want to select Diego's role. These are custom. Before, you only had two options, manager or non-manager. Now you can create a custom role profile based on that uh, you know, you, you can do a one-off just for one person. Maybe it's a consultant that's coming in. Or you can have all of your cashiers under a profile. Uh, and when you click on that, he's now assigned to that profile. And uh, now he's set up and ready to go. And you can create those on the fly. And that'll allow you to do different things within POS and the admin. Um, in the end, one more question. Can you tell us something about the time frame? What was uh, the time frame? This will be launching in the next few months. We'll be getting beta customers on board first, and then uh, hopefully, uh, you know, in, in Q3, Q4, uh, give the ability for anybody to upgrade to it. Yeah. Thanks, Jamie. No, thank you very much. Thanks, Daryl.